Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are you getting on? Today, we're going to be going over the Lighthouse Loot Guide. This is something I've been asked to do a million times, and I kept putting it off. So we're finally here now. We're going to go through it. We're going to go through what I loot. You know, awesome stuff that you can find on Lighthouse. And to be honest with you, you can make so much money on Lighthouse, it's kind of criminal. There is a pretty absurd amount of cash to be made on this map, just so long as you know where to look for it. So... Our first focus is going to be on the estate houses or the uh, chalets as they are officially known as and we have spawned in pretty much the worst possible place so lads I'm going to head over to the chalets and we will start going through all the loot once I get there. All right and here we are at the first chalet this is going to be the first building that we're going to loot for just a reference point the sea is over there lads and the main road is along there if you're anywhere along the main road and you just look up towards the hill you'll be able to see one of the two houses and that's an easy way to get your bearings the rogue base is over there and the lighthouse is over there just as the landmark so the first thing i always do when i come to these houses is i go straight upstairs over here and I come in here and I loot these safes, or rather this safe. So you need the USEC first safe key and the USEC second safe key in order to open these. So I've found Bitcoins, I've found ACEs, I've found VPXs, I've found RFID readers, I've found all kinds of awesome loot in these. Uh, sometimes you'll get absolutely nothing, but it pretty much only takes one run to make your money back. There it is a, a radio transmitter there. You can get all that kind of uh, awesome tech loot here as well from these. But these safes are really good. They're very cheap. They're like, I don't know, 60, 70 K each. And absolutely worth doing if you're going to be making money on Lighthouse. Or if you're going to be doing money runs on Lighthouse. A lot of the runs that you go through, you will get nothing. But that's just, you know, that's just the way it is. It's just RNG. The next place we're going to go to is we're going to come downstairs. We're going to come over here to the bar area. We're going to look here on the floor and here on the shelves and stuff. I found rare items here like gold chains and stuff like that. And then over here you get alcohol spawns on the table. So vodka, whiskey, stuff like that. We're going to come out here. Check this broken box here. I have found bitcoins. I have found pro kills. All kinds of stuff just sitting in this broken box. The next place we're going to go to. Straight into this garage building. Now... There's two jackets here that you can loot. So that one and the one behind that door in the kitchen. There's also weapon crates. There's, uh, where is it? Loose, like industrial loot and stuff here. And toolboxes if you want to check those. But the big ticket items are up here. We're going to come in here. Check the table. There's a skull ring. Stuff can spawn here. I think stuff can spawn on this chair as well. And then we're going to come over to the second bedroom. Right here, intelligence folders. I've gotten intelligence folders here a decent bit and nobody ever really seems to loot it. Uh, you've also got a duffel bag there. So always make sure you check that for the intelligence folder because intel folders right now are like, what, three, 400k or something? It's uh, pretty insane. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to run past the red rebel extract, uh, which, by the way, is the most efficient way of making money here. So you bring a red rebel with you. You bring a paracord, you loot both the houses, you extract here, you run something like a TV-10 rig or whatever, and you just extract, rinse, repeat over and over and over again. You can do these runs at nighttime, and pretty much nobody plays Lighthouse at nighttime, so you just have the map to yourself. Uh, it's pretty insane. I've done it a ton myself. Usually don't really run into too many people. And as I said, this is just like the most unbelievable money-making map currently, even after it was nerfed. So, coming in here, we're going to check this little house here first. We're going to run in here, check the safe. You check the med bag if you want. Apparently, in the middle of this book, there's a Bitcoin spawn. I've never found it, but apparently a bunch of people in my chat on Twitch have found it. So, you might as well check it if you're there. Jump into the back of this truck. Bunch of rare, uh, or not rare, but like, you know, expensive weapon attachments can spawn here. So always check it. There's an SC5. It's probably like 50k on the flea. Ammo spawn in the barrel as well, I guess. And then we're going to come into the garage. Right here on this spot here. Right here next to that knife there. These are all like rare items. So you can get aces. Oh yeah, there's an iridium right there that I missed because I'm blind. Uh, Bitcoins, pro kills, all that other kind of expensive crap all spawns here. Here on the floor, you can get a bunch of like uh, industrial loot. Water filters in here. 
you can get a bunch of different stuff in this box military tank batteries spawn here and then more industrial loot spawns here as well and you can check the toolbox if you want as well coming in here i found bitcoins on this like bottom shelf here uh, but apparently you can get like aces radios you can get all kinds of stuff that can uh, spawn here but i've only ever found bitcoins and pro kill necklaces here uh coming in here we're gonna check the table right there and we're gonna check the chair right here as well for rare items and then over here i don't know if this is true or not but apparently violet key cards can spawn here i haven't seen it yet i haven't seen any clips of it yet but maybe somebody who watches this video can check it every time you loot lighthouse and if you find one let me know so next up we're gonna come upstairs here and on this shelf here i believe intel spawn but you can also get rare items on top you can get rare items on this shelf you can get rare items here on top of this box on top of this box and on top of this box uh you can search the weapon crate nothing spawns on the pool table as far as i know coming down here then always check here for uh medical items i've had people tell me they found like ophthalmoscopes and all that kind of stuff here i don't think i've ever heard of anyone getting a ledex here but who knows you might as well check it coming in here this table here spawns rare items and this table here apparently spawns gold chains and stuff and then we might as well check out here first as well before we go on to the rest of the house out to this little side area rare items can spawn on the table here and there's also an intelligence folder spawn right here that i found a couple of times as well and uh just in case you guys are bored you can check uh games you can play with your pussy uh right there so peak novels there's also a jacket right there i found rare keys in it but obviously it's just a coincidence it's just a jacket we're gonna come back into the house then through this door and we're gonna check here for more weapon attachments you can find uh expensive stuff there and then i believe meds and stuff can spawn there there's a jacket there meds at the end of the bed we're gonna open this door come back into the main body of the house and we're just gonna go downstairs now down to the very very bottom we're gonna come here we're gonna check the little uh wrapped up dead body so you can get spawns like here like here it's just usually rare and expensive stuff rare and expensive tech items if there's a little loot indicator and you can't see what the item is you have to wait for the body to float down sometimes before you can see the item so just be patient for that med spawns and stuff there oh yeah and then over here just before i forget broken box here there's an ace that spawned in this one so always make sure you check that over here as well on these loungers you can find sugars whiskeys and stuff like that and we're gonna come up here check on top of this box iridiums apparently there's a rare item spawn back here i've never found it maybe i was being trolled uh but you can get like bitcoins skull rings all kinds of shit on top of that as well and then over here we're gonna open this door come in here check this table check this table then you want to check over here as well on those two tables you can get rare items gold chains bitcoins all that kind of stuff and then oh over here on this side sorry so up these stairs outside the kitchen you can get like industrial loot spawns here you can get them here on the ground you can get them here on this table just make sure you check them if you're looking for any industrial loot kind of stuff usually you can like you can get shit that's worth it sometimes and sometimes you get absolutely nothing so uh if you open this door med box there random assortment of just like medical loot scattered around in these rooms but usually nothing even really worth checking another spot that a lot of people never check is the theater so you can come in here check the chairs right here where this mule spawned you can get intel folders i believe it's on that chair it's on one of these chairs this is where the intel spawns anyway here on the floor and over here on the floor you see where the hand drill is i've found those military corrugated hoses in here before so it's like super high-end industrial loot i've had people tell me they found those p100 filter absorbers as well for the hideout i haven't seen them yet but apparently that's the thing but we all know those are they're pretty rare anyway coming out here weapon crate there was it on these shelves here as well you can get like uh, tech loot and i'm just trying to think have i forgotten anything i believe um i believe that's pretty much it for the house i will tell you guys there is like an absurd amount of loot in these houses like it's crazy so if i've missed something i'm not surprised this is just the route that i go this is what i look through 
And if I've missed something, leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. But moving on from the two chalets, we're going to head down to the road real quick. And the reason for that is there's a lot of stuff down here that I've noticed never gets looted on the road. And this is a super easy money maker that you can do on your scav as well. So we're just going to head down here as I break both my legs. All right. So here we are all the way pretty much the start of the road. You can see the lighthouse over there just as a point of reference. So this is where our looting is going to start. On this chair and like on the floor around the chair, you can find moonshines. Uh, there's also a duffel bag there that you can loot as well. So if you happen to spawn on this side and you're coming by, always make sure you check the chair because you can find moonshines here pretty often. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit an SJ6 and I'm going to run all the way up the road. And I'm going to show you guys a bunch of stuff that people often miss out on. And like a nice little loop you guys can do to look for really awesome loot and make a ton of money. And not only your scav runs, but you can get away with doing this on nighttime PMC runs as well. Uh, because at nighttime raids, obviously it's harder to snipe you from the hills because you're harder to see. So let me show you guys where you can fill your bags with loads of juicy loot. So, as you guys probably noticed, I skipped pretty much the entire portion of the road there. Uh, I've never really found anything great down there. There's like a weapon crate and some other stuff that you can loot, but I don't really think it's worth it. Where our real journey begins is going to be by these four boxes. Now, you're going to want to check on top of each and every one of these boxes. You're going to want to check the ground around each and every one of these boxes to make sure that you don't miss anything. So, right now, there's just a defuel, uh, defuel and a chlorine but you can get the uh, military corrugated hoses here along with a bunch of really expensive and nice industrial loot. So make sure you check those boxes running down here. Make sure you check the top and around every box that you run by along the road. And we're just going to keep running up here towards the construction site. Those are the chalets we just looted up there just as a point of reference. And then... Once we get down here past this uh, yellow skill boss, this is where the bulk of the really good loot is. So you're going to want to jump up onto this box, check inside here, check here, uh, come over here, check along this, check along the crate, check along the ground all around here, jump up onto this trailer, check the ground here. As you can see, tool set, power cords on top of this box as well has spawns. We're going to come over here, check on top of this. So you can see paracord, WD-40, measuring tape, keck tape, all on top of this. And on this side, on this pallet as well. And on the floor around here, there's just like industrial loot out the ass everywhere around here. And then uh, check over here on top of this box as well. I almost forgot about this one. My bad. And then uh, check the floor around here too. I don't actually loot this very often, but like, dude, I have so many people in my chat. I've told me that this is how they've made millions. You ever see people on the flea market that just have, you know, 10 freaking military corrugated hoses listed? This is the run that they're doing. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to run into the forest. Run along the path here until you get to the, uh, the minivan. Check in here. Expensive weapon attachments often spawn here. It's a really nice spot for loot. And then we're going to run down along here. Hug the wall. Come in here, check on top of these boxes, check the floor, check inside the broken box here. Once again, all the military corrugated hoses and shit can spawn there. I'm going to come over here, check the floor. You can find car batteries. You can find all kinds of crap here. And here we are at the beach. So basically what you're going to want to do on the beach, check on top of all the boxes, check the ground around all of the boxes. And basically, cross your fingers and pray that you find a, a corrugated military hose. So up here, check inside there. Over here, check inside here. You see an e-motor there. Check all around here. Check the ground. Check inside on top of all the boxes. And if you don't find anything... You either run to the south road extract there, you run up to the red rebel, or you go all the way down to the very end and you try and take the north road if somebody's killed the rogues. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much, I think, like the essential lighthouse loot spots. 
Lighthouse is insane. The potential for making money on this map is astronomical. And I really hope this guide helped you guys. I will say one thing. Having a red rebel and a power cord is huge. Like absolutely huge for like efficiency and speed. Uh, because you can just loot the two chalets and then get out the red rebel extract straight away. And you can reset. And you can do these runs in like literally under 10 minutes like it's insane one other tip as well always make sure you bring a mule with you because if you find that uh military battery that's like half a mil to what six seven hundred thousand rubles if you don't have a mule and your strength level is pretty low you're gonna have a hard time getting it out so i would recommend uh bringing a mule stim with you of course as well sj6s are great you know for getting around the map faster than other players that didn't bring them and uh yeah that's pretty much it that's my lighthouse loot run so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to leave a like leave a comment let me know about some spots that maybe I missed that you guys like looting and uh, let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future so guys thank you very much for watching leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out my dudes